Welcome back, you fam. SWE Racing. We're bringing you something a little different. Uh, not working on the race cars today. Today's uh, January 2nd. I ended up having the day off. I didn't think I had. I went in for half a day before they notified me that we were closed today. So we came back home. Uh, these two dirt bikes right here. This one is Buck's. This one is mine. This is a 2017 YZ250 two-stroke. This is a 2018 CRF 150R race version. It's not your trail version. This is a Buck's a beginner at best rider. But I didn't want to get a less bike than what I didn't want to get a less bike and have her outgrow it in a year or so and have to buy another one. So I got more than she'll ever need. She's very short. Yes. So uh this one's a 2018. We bought them both in 2018. They're both brand new. They've been ridden three times. Uh, I rode the YZ250 enough to get it broke in, and then we parked it in the garage, and it sat there, and mm -hmm. she about tried to kill me when I was teaching her how to <laughs> ride this one, about put us through a fence, and I said that was enough of that. So both of them's been sitting in the garage for several years now. Mm, about two? No, more than that. This is two, going on 2023. That's 2018. Three, three years. That's, yeah, because we rode them the first summer we got them. That was it. We rode them after that because I learned a little bit more about throttle control and stuff. And then... No, we rode them the first summer because we got them in the winter of, of 18. That summer we rode them three times. That's right. And Dad rode this last. And the last time he rode it, it puked out and... Uh, wouldn't run, so I think he filed the plug on it. And then to compile it up, we let him sit in the garage and dummy me. I didn't drain the gas out, so I'm sure the carburetors are all gummed up. Mine I fired up well before we got into winter too bad in October because I was going to do some videos in October because we were still in nice weather. And it started fouling the plug halfway out on the ride out, and I barely made it back to the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear into these. We're going to go through and clean the carbs, do a service on them, uh, change the oil on hers and the oil filter. Uh, this one we're going to do the carb and uh, clean out the air filters and uh, re-oil up the air filters, get them ready for this summer because I think we're going to do some more dirt bike videos this summer when it warms up and y'all can watch Buck wreck. Because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And she is going to wreck, I guarantee yes, you that. Especially with a race bike. I've never ridden a dirt bike before. So. Yeah, if you, if you look up here, I don't know if you can see it on the video. <laughs> Let's turn to this side. You see how far the forks are up in the triple clamps here? These are called triple clamps. These are your fork tubes. I've got them up in there about two and a half inches. So that she can even touch the ground on this thing. And then I took the, all the sag out of the rear spring to lower the bike down for her to be able to to touch with one foot when this thing is actually sitting on the ground she can barely touch with one foot on it but uh yeah so that's what we're going to do uh i don't know if i'll do a whole lot today probably get this tore apart get this one tore apart and get ready to clean the carbs and we'll do a video on how we clean the carbs out and uh then we'll get them fired up all right we'll stretch you on a time lapse and do that Set your place on fire. Let's get higher. Yeah, I'm gonna set your place on fire. Let's get higher. Yeah. Get a little bit of gasoline. Welcome to another water scene. I'm gonna make it burn. 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 Set your place on fire. Let's get higher. I'm gonna set your place on fire. Let's get higher. Get a little bit of gasoline. Welcome to. Alright, guys, so she's all tore down. Uh, it's probably only a couple minutes for you, but it was probably about a half hour or better for me. Probably about an hour. So. Oh, if you can see down in there, there's quite a bit of varnishing on the slide and on the back of the carburetor here down through the throat. You can see some varnishing. 
So we definitely got some cleaning to do on these. Uh, not too familiar with this carburetor. This is a little more advanced than I used to. I don't know what this deal right here is. I'll have to get out my manual and see because it's all electronic throttle position sensor controlled. Uh, choke coal controlled. So, yeah, we're going to have fun. You can see right here. See this? All varnish right there. So that's why it was puking out for one of the reasons. The other reason. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. She fouled out, boys. Mm -hmm. That plug's fouled out. Probably didn't even need to do the carburetor, but I'm one that takes care of my stuff, so I'm going to do everything on it. Like I said, it's a brand new bike. It's only had three rides. Uh, <coughs> still suffering that cold a little bit. We're getting better, but we're still suffering it a little bit. I'm so, like I said, it's a brand new bike, and uh, we're going to go through and clean it up and get her ready for this summer. Uh, one advice I would give you guys if you're going to tear stuff apart like this, always put your bolts that you take out back where they go so you know right where they go. I'm kind of kind of disappointed that I had to go in and do all this and clean the carbs out because like I said, this bike only has three rides on it, probably about a half hour each just to break it in. And uh, my dumb idiot should have known to drain the gas out of it. But now... Every, every bolt that you take out now shows signs that you've taken it out. And so, I don't know, I'm just kind of finicky. I wanted to keep it pristine, and I should have drained the gas out of it, but that's the way it goes. Got the tank, subframe, seat, everything right there. So we're going to get to cleaning the carburetor and stuff her back in. All right, guys, bye. And just like that. Went through and cleaned the carb, had a little technical difficulty, like I said, this carb I had, didn't have much experience with. A lot of the 98 to 2001 stuff, I worked on a lot, because that was mainly the bikes I had. This one has a throttle position sensor, has a big arm that comes over that goes to the slide, which tells it where the throttle position is at, and it works off the, the uh, reed valve, or the... Uh, power valve and stuff, stuff like that and tells it what to do as far as ignition and all that. So I had to go through and research on my manual and see how to actually get the slide back in. All you have to do is pull that arm forward all the way and then it drops down in and goes back on. So we got all that done. Carburetor actually wasn't that bad as I thought it was going to be. Everything was pretty clean in there. Uh, luckily we caught it when we did because we might have had issues if we waited any longer. Uh, Got the carburetor all back in, cleaned out, got the new plug in it, got everything put back on. Uh, cleaned, out the new, cleaned out the air filter. First I soaked it with gas, cleaned all the dirt and debris out of it, and then I washed it with Dawn dish soap. I'm just waiting for it to dry, so I can't put it back in right now until it's dried. And, I, and then I re-oil it up with two-stroke oil. Oil it up, wring it out. Let it kind of tack up a bit and put it back in. That's how I do mine. I don't know how you guys do yours. I know they sell like no tool, no toil. That's a environmentally friendly cleaner and oil to put on these. So you can just throw it in the washing machine or whatever and clean it and then reapply your no toil. Uh, I've always done mine the way that I did it. I clean it out with gas. Wash it with Dawn dish soap and then reapply two-stroke oil to it. Should be doing this every couple of rides anyways, guys. So this is my worst part I hate about dirt bikes is cleaning these air filters. They, If I had the money, I would just throw it in the garbage and go buy another. But we got her done. So this one, all we got left is to oil up that air filter, get it back in. And then I'm going to change the transmission oil. Like I said, I have three half-hour rides on it since it was brand new. So when you got a brand new bike, things wear in. You might have some metal in there. I'm going to go ahead and just change it out. Uh, all together, 
for the filters and oil for that one filter well no filter and oil for this one <coughs> the spark plugs and I did buy some gas treatment <coughs> sorry because it is still January so we probably won't be able to even do anything till March so you're talking three months that they're gonna sit with gas again so I bought gas treatment and uh, quality two-stroke oil full synthetic <coughs> I like to run klutz in mine. I like love I love klutz. I love the smell of it. So that's what I'm gonna do in this one, like I always have. And then we'll be on bucks. So we gotta change the oil in hers. Clean the carburetor, new plug, new oil filter. Hers is a four-stroke, so <coughs> for all you four-stroke guys, have at it. I do two-stroke. Much easier. I just love a two-stroke. So, anyways, that'll probably wrap it up for this video. <coughs> if you guys want to see me go through and do this one, comment on this video. And then I'll get uh, footage of doing this one and let me know. All right, guys, thanks for coming in.